you did your homework and have a healthy female dog ready to breed. But the breeding isn't successful. Why? There are several potential reasons, and one of them is the male dog that was used. Low sperm count, prostate problems, disease, or even the outside temperature can all be playing a factor in reproductive success. In this episode of the Pet Care Pro Show, we have Cynthia talking with us about some of the most common stud dog problems and the best age to freeze semen. Now, if you haven't already, we ask you to consider subscribing to the Revival Animal Health YouTube channel by clicking this little red heart or the subscribe button down below if you're watching this on YouTube. This way, you won't miss our new pet health videos. Now, let's talk stud dog problems. Cynthia, let's first clear up some confusion around two common phrases, infertility and being sterile. What is the difference? Great question, Shelley. In general, reproductive failure is complex and there may be many factors at play. Infertility is defined as a reduced ability to produce, while sterility is defined as a permanent inability to reproduce. Right, and your veterinarian can perform testing to let you know what you are exactly dealing with. Absolutely. The good news is infertility in a stud dog can be managed. Semen collection is where you'll start. When you collect the semen, you want to look at four different aspects to determine the semen quality. Those are sperm count, sperm morphology or structure, sperm motility, and sperm longevity. Let's break each of those down. What is the ideal sperm count? A sperm count should be 10 million times the dog's weight in pounds. Now, let me back that up because 10 million times my, I'm trying to add or, <laughs> you know, multiply. A sperm count should be 10 million times the dog's weight in pounds. Frequent breeding more than once a day can lower the sperm count. Research also tells us that the season of the year has an effect on concentration of the sperm. Increased concentration tends to occur in spring and early summer and lower concentration in late summer and fall. Sperm concentration is thought to be influenced by the day length and the environmental temperature. Okay, so heat can impact sperm count. Oh yes, semen is sensitive to the environmental temperature. When the outside temp approaches 102 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the normal body temperature of a dog, male fertility can suffer. When the temperature reaches over 105 degrees, males can become infertile if overheating happens. If it gets too hot, the stored sperm in the dog's testicle dies and the replacement can take 60 days. So what can you do to manage temperature? Water misters over the kennel and shade can lower the environmental temp by at least 10 degrees. And if you have an air-conditioned kennel, keep those males inside and limit the outside access uh, during the heat of the day or bring them in, put them in the basement. Most people think it's the female that we should worry about. It is the male. Okay, good to know. Now, are high temperatures the only thing that can kill sperm? I wish it was that easy, Shelley, but no. Another common cause of sperm death is latex toxicity from the syringe or soap and disinfectants that we use in AI equipment that has been reused. The use of a disposable artificial insemination kit like this one or using our semen safe syringes, also like these, solves that issue. Now, what about if no sperm are seen when you perform a sperm count? In that case, Shelley, it's a good idea to send the prostatic fluid to a reference lab for an alkaline phosphatase level. Okay, and what about sperm morphology? What does that determine? A sperm morphology or structure test assesses the shape and appearance of each sperm cell. To do this, the semen should be stained and assessed. A veterinarian can help you do this. Right. And when it comes to sperm motility, that doesn't necessarily mean mobility, correct? Right. The semen needs to be progressively motile, meaning it swims forward with vigor. To support improved sperm production and motility, I recommend Breeder's Edge Oxy Stud. It is a dietary supplement that supports vigor, stamina, endurance, and provides essential nutri nutrients for breeding male dogs and cats. Okay, and finally, sperm longevity. How do you measure that? You hold a small sample of semen in an extender, which we also have, mm -hmm. in the refrigerator and reassess it 24 and 48 hours later by warming it up. Semen that is normal and has normal motility should still be swimming for up to three days. 
Now let's look closer at some common stud dog problems. First, looking at the dog's urine immediately after ejaculation is important. Why is that? Yes, you want to look in the male's urine to see if sperm is present. If sperm is present in the urine, this would indicate retrograde ejaculation. This refer refers to the entry of semen into the bladder instead of going out through the urethra. Okay, and you'll have to use a microscope to see the sperm in the urine, so if you don't have a microscope, your vet can absolutely help you with that. Exactly, and time is of the essence in these cases. If you are wanting to know if sperm are alive, you should use a centrifuge to concentrate them and look in the urine the same day you take the sample. However, if you are just looking to see if sperm are present, then looking the next day is fine. If you do notice sperm in the urine, you'll want to take your dog to the vet for further evaluation. Absolutely. Diseases can also impact a male's fertility. What diseases do you need to watch for? Canine brucellosis is a big one. It is a bacterial disease that can be spread through mating and can cause sterility in the male along with testicular swelling and soreness. This is why testing your males for infectious diseases prior to breeding them is important, especially since an adult dog infected with the brucella organism is rarely ill. Yes, and for more information on brucellosis, we recommend reading the article Brucellosis in Dogs that can be found in our Learning Center at RevivalAnimal.com or we've put a link to that article below in the description. Okay, so what about if your male is sick with a fever? Sickness and fever are major issues with stud dogs. If males run a fever, stored sperm will die, so sick males should be addressed immediately. We need to bring the fever down and use an appropriate antibiotic to correct the infection. If the fever reaches 103 or 104 degrees Fahrenheit, males may be infertile for 45 to 60 days. They will have sperm, but it will all be dead. Another thing to keep in mind, urinary tract issues can cause infertility in males, especially if over five years of age. Okay, now let's talk prostate disease. Since stud dog fertility peaks at five years of age, if the stud dog is over five years old and has fertility issues, the prostate must be ruled out. Yes, benign prosthetic hypertrophy or hypoplasia, also known as BPH, is the most common prostate problem we see in unneutered male dogs. It is frequently seen after age five. Symptoms are blood dripping from the penis, not associated with urination, pain on breeding, flat ribbon-like stools, and blood in the ejaculate. Okay, now let's talk about prostatitis. Tell us about that. Prostatitis is also fairly common in unneutered male dogs. However, these dogs are sick. They run a fever, are lethargic, won't eat, and may die if the infection spreads into the abdomen. Now what about prostate cancer? This is most often seen in neutered males, correct? Right. Most dogs with prostate cancer are neutered. The only way to confirm prostate cancer is a, on a biopsy of the actual prostate. And another prostate problem are paraprosthetic cysts. And these are fairly rare. Yes, paraprosthetic cysts form outside the prostate and look on ultrasound and x-rays like the dog has a second bladder. Now, if your stud dog has a prostate disease, seek the services of your veterinarian who understands the diagnosis and treatment options for breeding dogs. Okay, right. Now, before we talk about the best way to protect your male semen, if you are finding this video helpful, click the like button below. Okay, so if you have a breeding program, how can you best protect the male dog semen? Freezing semen when the boys are young, between the ages of two and four years of age, is ideal. Freeze them while they are healthy and producing great quality semen. It will cost you much less money to freeze their semen while they are young. Right, very good advice. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank and if you. you've learned something new in this video, be sure to share it with a friend who you think could benefit. And if you have other questions, comment below and we will get an answer for you. I'm Shelly with the Revival Education Team. This is Cynthia, a Revival Pet Care Pro. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of the Pet Care Pro Show. Hi, if you're watching on YouTube and new to our channel, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so you don't miss our newest videos. If you have more questions on stud dog health or any other pet health issues, call our pet care pros at this number or check out our other pet health videos.